Hey everyone, this is Book of Catherine, letting you in in a very, very little known secret these days. Yosemite is one of the most beautiful and magical places in the world. Yosemite Valley is located in the heart of California. It was set aside early in the 20th century, and it is nothing short of a pure, magical meadow slash forest slash rock canyon set aside for you, me, and the entire globe to enjoy. And they've done an incredible job of preserving it. And it used to be once upon a time that the whole world used to come and enjoy it. Now it is a little known secret. This fall, it should be absolutely glorious with all the Santa Ana winds. Also, there's a little known figure there named Ron Cock. He is a rock climber and he used to work in Hollywood and do all the amazing rock climbing uh, action movies when they were really, really big, working with people like Sylvester Stallone when they were huge movie stars and a lot of movies they still are, going up and down, doing the rock climbing where they'd be hanging in midair and going up before. They were what made rock climbing like uh, Shasta and Mount Everest. That didn't used to be a really big thing until Ron Cock got it started. So in places like Yosemite Valley. So if you want to be in or if you want to have something incredible happen to you, then make your way on down to Yosemite Valley in the heart of California. They say California has a lot of things, but that has to do with their cities. But I grew up every single summer heading on down to Yosemite and it turns out so did my husband It turns out everyone I know in California They ended up making their way to Yosemite at least once a year It's something that pretty much a lot of people on the West Coast just did It's something about that that space that called to everybody they knew that it was something really really important there to sit at the base of half dome to sit at mirror lake and to look upon it and to see what was protected there it's not not everything's for everybody just because they say i climbed half dome don't do it i mean half dome is terrifying it's 13 miles up and then there's not much protecting you to slide off of it, whatever. Sometimes it's meant to be simply looked upon and let other adventurers who love to sit there and put a chair on top of a rock ledge. We're all meant to do certain things. Some of us are meant to sit at the bottom and draw a watercolor of people at the top, sitting there being adventurous, sitting on the top of a chair, hanging off the ledge, being crazy like that, because they did. And enjoy pictures of people like John Muir writing about it, or um, taking incredible, like, uh, Adams, who did incredible black and white photography. That is a part of America's heritage that is so important. They talk about the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is incredible. They talk about Yellowstone. The Yellowstone is absolutely incredible. But Yosemite Valley, Death Valley, Death Valley, I'm so glad I finally got to see it before I left California. But I think I take Yosemite for granted because... It was part of my growing up experience simply because everyone did it. Everyone did it. And I don't know that everyone does it anymore. And so I don't want to take it for granted. I don't want to take that for granted. I want to make sure that I share that with you. And I know right now, this time of year in the fall, I didn't get to always go in the fall. I, I only got to do that a couple of times before I left California, you got to do the fall. And it was incredible, the fall colors going into the Yosemite Valley. So I highly, highly recommend it. Of course, there are amazing things I love. I love South Dakota. I love doing the 90 across South Dakota. I love 1880 town. But there is something magical. The Smoky Mountains are magical. All these places on the East Coast but please don't ever let your life pass you by until you do the Yosemite Valley at least once in your life. At least do s'mores once in your life in a nice open fire in one of or, or any way you wish to choose to enjoy Yosemite Valley. It's hard to get reservations. I understand that they book ahead of time. But there's so many ways to enjoy it. You can book. There's all many. There's so many different ways they give you to enjoy it that I've been able to, when we needed to, to go, no matter where we were in California, we could make it there at a last minute, my husband and I, you could get there. Maybe we'd be cold and freezing our butts off, but we could make it there <laughs> and spend a weekend in Yosemite. And that's something I very much recommend to you. And we even got to our first encounter with Ron was actually on a trail going up to the falls. Um, and, and that was our first encounter with him and we'll never forget that. 
we will never forget that. And I, I don't know, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't grow up with Yosemite in my life. I hope you make it part of yours. To you and yours, I love you so much. See you on the next one. Bye.